from the one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Cutler Bay Solar Solutions. Hi, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday night. Only on 10, new video showing the moments first responders race to the scene of that deadly plane crash that happened recently in Pembroke Pines. Firefighters frantically trying to save that four-year-old little boy who was inside a car left mangled after the aircraft slammed into it last month. The child was eventually freed but sadly did not make it. Only his mother made it out alive and two people on board that plane, Yakov Nahom and Grant Hustad, are also, they also died in that crash. Miami-Dade police are now searching for the driver responsible for a deadly hit and run in northwest Miami-Dade. It happened early this morning near 119th Street and 22nd Avenue. It appears a speeding driver in a red Dodge Charger rear-ended a minivan. Seven men, all in their 20s, were in that minivan and rushed to the hospital. One of them died from his injuries. Police say the driver of the Charger ran from the scene. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Miami-Dade Police. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis citing the Chauvin trial while signing an unprecedented anti-riot bill into law today. The bill created in response to nationwide demonstrations last year would impose harsher penalties for those arrested during protests, including blocking. It also allows the state to stop cities from cutting funding to police and does put local government on the hook if they ask police to stand down. Local activists are calling this a dark day in Florida. Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Be a part of the Weather Authority team. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. And now to one and only exclusive tonight, boxes of brand new ventilators found dumped at a Cutler Bay landfill. A man taking garbage to the South Dade landfill, a recorded video of the hundreds of ventilators he saw last week. Chinese manufacturer Aerospace Changfeng Limited was written on the crates. Its ventilators were listed once at $26,000. That was last spring. However, its model number was not among those listed for emergency use by the FDA. The agency says medical equipment without approval must be taken out of the country or destroyed. The landfill option was the far less costly alternative of those two choices. And as breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. You can always head to our website, local10.com. We'll see you back here Tuesday.